The perimeter, as anyone who's ever watched a war film will tell you, is something that needs to be guarded. Another thing that we've learned from watching war films is that anyone who says something along the lines of you and I are going to get through this probably isn't going to make it to the end credits. So what is a perimeter? Well, it's the distance all around the edges of a shape. So anyone asking you to guard the perimeter is really asking you to guard all of the outer edges. Because we're talking distance here, the perimeter of something is usually measured in either centimetres, metres, or if you like things a little bit more old school, inches or feet. So how can you work out the perimeter of something? This swimming pool, for example. Well, one thing that you could do is walk all around it with a really long tape measure. That would be a bit boring though. Thankfully, there is an easier way. For rectangles like this, you just need to find out the length and the width. Let's say that this pool is 25 metres long and 10 metres wide. Both of the lengths are the same and both of the widths are the same. So to work out the perimeter, add all of the lengths and all of the widths together. 25 metres add 10 metres and 25 metres add 10 metres is 70 metres. So the perimeter is 70 metres. One thing to watch out for when you work out a perimeter is that all of the measurements are the same. For example, this rectangle is 1 metre long and 50 centimetres wide. To work out this perimeter, you can either work in centimetres or metres, but not both. See if you can work out the perimeter. Remember that there's 100 centimetres in a metre, and that 50 centimetres is the same as 0.5 metres. Did you get it? Well done if you worked out the perimeter to be 3 metres or 300 centimetres. So what about when you want to work out the perimeter of a shape that's not a rectangle? What about if it was a triangle? Well, just like the rectangle, working out the perimeter means that you need to start by finding out the lengths of all the sides. The sides of this triangle are 10 centimetres, 4 centimetres, and 8 centimetres. 10 add 4 add 8 is 22. So the perimeter of this triangle is 22 centimetres. Once you know the lengths and the widths of a shape, you can work out the perimeter, even if the shape is like this. Here's the measurements. Add them together, and here's the perimeter. But what about if you don't know all of the measurements? Let's say that you only know the length, width, this bit here, and this bit here. Well, the first thing to do is to work out the measurements that are missing. Because you know the length is 10 centimetres, and this bit is 2 centimetres, it means that this bit here must be 8 centimetres. And because you know that the width is 6 centimetres, and this bit here is one centimetre, then this bit here must be five centimetres. Once you have all of the measurements, you can add them together to get your perimeter. And so to recap, the perimeter is the distance all around the edges of a shape. Perimeter can be measured in distances like centimetres, metres, inches or feet, but it's important to use the same measurement when it comes to working out the perimeter. To work out the perimeter of a rectangle, find out the length and the width and add both lengths and both widths to get your answer. To find out the perimeter of a triangle, add the lengths and all three sides together to get your answer. Ah, oh, we've made it to the end credits. Good job then that I didn't say that you and I are going to get through.